we're going to talk about the genius of Pete Carmichael here. I want to show you all two plays. We're, we're filming this on a Monday, so I'm still salty about what I had to watch in the Superdome. And the more highlights that come out, the more that I see, the more disgusted I get. And there's two plays I want to highlight that just really goes to show what we're working with here in, in the, on the Saints sideline. These two plays from the genius that is Pete Carmichael. First play here is they're both actually on the first drive. Now, what do we know about the first drive? I've said it a million times. Scripted, okay? Plays are scripted. They have all week to figure this out. This is usually the most fluid and smooth an offense can be. Running at a high level. Now, Pistol Pete proves that he put absolutely no thought into these plays. Just called them. Fourth and one, okay? I have no problem with the Saints going for it here. You're at home. No issue with, with the actual decision tree to go here. But let's look at the formation. It's fourth and one. We need one yard. We have Taysom in the backfield. But Taysom's not playing the role of quarterback like he usually is. Taysom is playing the role of halfback. But Pistol Pete decides not to have a quarterback in the game. Wow. Controversial yet brave. So Taysom takes is right now, he's basically taking a Wildcat direct snap, not from the quarterback position, not from shotgun, but from even further back. So Pete says, fourth and one, let's make it fourth and six. How can we make this even better? What about if we take Derek Carr and move him to fullback? Derek Carr, who is coming off of an AC sprain, we are not we are two minutes and 55 seconds into the game, and Derek Carr is lined up like Mike Allstott in the fullback position here. Imagine what Tampa Bay's thinking. Franchise quarterback, paid this guy a ton of money, game time decision, is he going to play, hasn't thrown all week basically, severe pain, AC sprain, knocked him out of the Green Bay game. So you know what? Let's really get that loose. Let's really get the shoulder nice and loosened up and let him do some lead blocking here. So obviously Tampa Bay knows where this ball is going. I would think. Okay? Because they know Derek Carr might as well not even be back there. And if I'm on the Buccaneers here... I'm taking a free shot on Derek Carr. Now, if you watch the actual play, which we will, of course, Derek Carr just kind of runs. He, he just GTFOs. Derek Carr just beelines it for the sideline. So watch Derek Carr here. Derek Carr, <laughs> the mid... <laughs> you know how in Madden they have, like, the lines and you can see where the play is going? What do you think Derek Carr's line would do right here? I mean, he turned... Look at him. Look at Derek Carr. He looks like he's in a like a Michael Myers movie. He looks like he's trying to run away from Freddy Krueger. He is scooting away from this play. Why is he even in there? Because it's not misdirection. It certainly isn't misdirection. At this point, just put... Well, at this point, probably put Taysom under center. And let, just do the quarterback sneak. Or have Taysom take it from shotgun like he always does. And instead of having Derek Carr back there, have a fullback back there that could actually lead block for Taysom. Or option C, C for Carmichael, direct snap it six yards back. Have your fullback, your lead blocker, who's also your quarterback, who's also injured, literally leave the play. So now it's 10 on 11. Now let's try and get it that way. He does get it. So, you know, we're not going to let the results dictate how we feel about this play. He does get this. Let's go ahead and watch it. Yep, right there. Taysom goes up. Cool. First down, Derek Carr. He, he gets his, you know, his play at fullback. Same drive. Okay, so we do this play. We're, we, are, we are driving. It looked good. At this point, I was tricked. At this point, I was tricked. I was sitting there saying, man, Pete Carmichael was going to hell of a game. We had a lot of pre-snap movement. Raheed Shahid caught a pass, which is more than he caught the entire uh, game in Green Bay. Every, Taysom was getting involved. He, was, he threw a pass before this. He's, he's doing all kinds of stuff. We, at this point, I was peak bamboozled. At this point, I was thinking, whoa, Pete Carmichael took a lot of this to heart. Whoa, 
Pete Carmichael is actually going to call a game. He's actually going to, maybe he called Sean Payton. Maybe he got he watched a little bit of film. I don't know. Maybe he watched some of my videos. Maybe he played some Madden. Maybe he asked some 12-year-old on the street what plays he should call because that 12-year-old on the street could call better, better plays than Pete Carmichael. So this is the same drive now. We get a new set of downs. Let's see what Pistol Pete has for us. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Same drive. We are now on our 19 yard line okay we are in the red zone you don't see this too much for the saints this is our second play in the red zone spoiler alert it'll be our last play in the red zone so the saints second and five we three rush six pass we're mixing it up we we converted the fourth down to get to this position right here that's Taysom hill playing quarterback that's the fullback, whatever his name is, Butterfingers McGee, who dropped the pass uh, in this game. Alvin Kamara's up top. So right now, we're looking at the Jimmy Graham's in front of the fullback. So we're looking at this, and we're like, man, this is a wild kind of package here. I mean, Taysom's at quarterback. Kamara's at, at the top. We've got a fullback in there. Jimmy Graham's in there. Okay, I like what I'm seeing. Wait a minute. If that's Taysom at Quarterback, who is next to Taysom playing the role again of Mike Allstott? That's Derek Carr again. So you mean to tell me, really think about this. You mean to tell me, on the first drive of the game, Derek Carr is going to play quarter, uh, fullback twice? Well, the first time, Derek Carr just ran away. He, he just ran out of the play. He wasn't even involved as 11 on 10. Maybe he'll do the same thing this. Maybe he'll do the same thing here. Let's watch what Pete calls on second and five as we are driving. Let's just watch it. Holy God. Holy God. For a loss of 10 yards. And now let's really break this down. <clears throat> so this time, Derek Carr is not playing the role of just kind of a decoy run out of the play fullback. Derek Carr is going to get the handoff, and he's going to start this reverse thing. Now, I wonder why the defense didn't follow Carr. Do y'all think Tampa Bay, for a single solitary second, thought that Derek Carr was about to take a handoff end around on second and five from the 19? Can you imagine if Derek Carr holds on to this, and he just runs with a busted shoulder? four minutes and 12 seconds into the game this is nuts this is malpractice is what it is so Carr gets the handoff unbelievable to even say Carr gets the handoff the defense they're not going to go with Derek Carr because they know he they can you imagine just just flip it okay just flip it have Carr be the quarterback novel idea and have Carr be the one who hands it to Taysom Hill you don't think the defense would respect Taysom Hill getting this ball? You don't think the reverse would have worked out better if Taysom Hill is the one getting this ball? And if you want to throw another wrinkle into it, if Carr hands this ball off and Taysom has the ball, the defense is going to go with Taysom. Then if he does the reverse, Alvin can, can just run it if he wants to. Or this could even be like a quarterback throwback thing where Carr bleeds out this way because the defense is going to completely forget about Carr. And then they can throw it back to Carr if they want to. So Carr gets the handoff. Carr takes the end around. Look at the defense. Look at 27. Look at the look at the defense. They're crashing down now on Kamara. They know exactly what's happening. Look at the D. Look at this. Look at 27. He never even thought about Derek Carr. They are completely crashing down on Alvin Kamara. Oh, I mean, look at 27. He, 27 might as well have called the play. He might as well have called the play. Complete, just, on, Andres Pete just left in the dust here. They get blown up. All momentum we had on this drive, completely gone. Kamara gets tackled in the backfield, way in the backfield. Like I said, 10-yard loss. We set up a third and 14. We actually have a decent play on third and 14, get Taysom Hill the ball. He slips. He probably would have had the first down and we end up kicking a field goal. And that pretty much is it. That's pretty much uh, the entirety of the offensive showcase that the Saints had. But, but think about, like, when we're talking about issues with the Saints, and 
we talk about like personnel, we talk about culture, we talk about whatever. These two plays have to tell you it's just it, bottom line. It's just it's just the scheme, it's the coaching, it's what we what we have on the sidelines. I mean, this cat, Derek Carr went from might not play game time decision to playing fullback twice on the first drive. Imagine, just imagine, imagine for me that Derek Carr takes his hand off. And let's say he gets blown up right here. Let's say he just gets blown up. Or let's say there's something wrong with this handoff reverse situation. Let's say it's bobbled. All of a sudden, Derek Carr's in the play. And let's say he re-injures his busted up AC sprain. Can you imagine the backlash? And I'll tell you why I bring that up. Because this is ridiculous, number one. But the but this shows you Carmichael is just calling. Like he's just saying, let's do this play. This would be cool. And he's putting no thought into, well, Derek Carr's injured. Like, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe we should just stick to something else. He's not He's not factoring in, like, that's second and five. We're kind of driving here. Like, maybe this is the kind of play you want to utilize at the end of the game. You want to save this. You know, you want to run per, like, what you should do. I don't know why I have to do this, but Pete Carmichael, I hope you're watching. What you should do is you should have Carr as the quarterback, Hill as the running back, and you should run this play early, and you should tell Hill to keep it. And then you have Taysom keep it, and then later in the game, you run the same play, but you have Taysom give it to Kamara for the reverse. That's how you set this up. Or you could even do a thing. You could even do it where you, you have Taysom run early, you show this, and then you come back with Taysom could even, you know, Taysom could hand it off. He could... You could throw it. You could design it to where the second time it takes him throws it. You could do all kinds of stuff off of this first iteration. But instead, he pulls out the trick, the the trick book, his his tricks and tidbits. He pulls this out on the first drive and completely destroys the drive. Completely stops any momentum we had. It's just bad, ladies and gentlemen. But I wanted to show you all those two plays because I saw them today and I, I really just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was watching because in the dome, I thought I thought Taysom got this handoff because him and Carr, they kind of look the same in the backfield. They kind of wear the same. I mean, they look the exact same. Like even right here, like the exact like the towels on the same side, like everything's exactly the same. So in real time, I thought this was. They even had the the left the arm sleeve like exact same. They need to go to their player customization screen on Madden and change that up. But in real time, I thought this was Taysom. I thought Taysom got this. I cannot believe. Derek Carr got this. I cannot believe Derek Carr was playing Mike Allstott's position twice on the first drive. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that I'm maybe being a little too harsh on Pete? I'm being a little too harsh on Pistol Pete here for these genius plays? Or do you think he should take this? Well, I won't finish. Family channel. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate that. No one's doing what we are doing. I will see you in the next video.